So let's be clear. For us, you have to be registered in the transparency register if you come to have meetings in the commission. Right? So it's, we, we are not checking whether every organization in the world um, that might potentially um, uh, contact us at some stage um, is registered in the transparency register. It's, it's actually either the organization that does it of its, on its own initiative, uh, which is, of course, always very welcome, or if an, organization represent, an organization's representative wants to have a meeting with us, then they have to, we have to check that they are in the transparency register for that meeting to take, um, to take place. So this is, the, this is the basic rule. I'm talking under control of my colleague Balash, but yeah, that's how it, that's how it works, okay? So now I'm, I'm speaking here, you know, a bit, um, uh, uh, let's say, off the cuff, but if, as I understand, there have been no contacts between this organization and the commission, then there is not necessarily a reason for that organization to have completed the entry into the transparency register as far as the commission is concerned. Okay? Let's, uh, let's be clear on that. Um, whether we have checked that the organization had uh, registered or not, again, as I say, I don't think that we check systematically whether organizations that might one day contact us do so or not. We would do so uh, if, um, if a member of that organization, Mr. Avramopoulos or somebody else, had, um, had, uh, had meetings with the, with the commission. Um, I think that was the question. On, the, on your question related to, uh, the, uh, to the amount, yes, that was, uh, that was information which um, I know that the fact that he provided information, uh, I know as a fact that he provided information on how much he was going to receive for his one-year contract with the organization, but I cannot confirm the amount.